Our uh, presentation today is uh, the first episode of uh, the catalog in Middle Eastern non-book material using RDA and Mark 21 workshops. And the first session is video recording that will cover mostly DVDs, uh, DVD cataloging, and uh, also I talk about Blu-ray and VHS a bit uh, when I'm explaining uh, our cataloging procedure. And as uh, Iman said, I'm Cyrus Ford Zargain, a special formats librarian at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. And this is my email address in case if you have any questions in the future. So for today's uh, workshop, I prepared uh, four DVDs for films uh, to discuss. I used uh, mostly examples of these four films. The first one is a separation. It is um, by Asghar Farhadi, uh, an Iranian movie that was made in 2011 and 2012 Academy Award winner for the best foreign language film. I'm an Iranian American too. Uh, the other one is Footnote, uh, a 2011 Israeli drama film written and directed by Joseph Cedar and an Academy Award nominee for the best foreign language film. The third one is The Man Who Sold His Skin on Al Rajal Al Laziba Zahra, a 2020 Tunisian movie directed by uh, Kauter Ben Hania and nominated for the best international feature film at the 93rd Academy Awards. And the last one, Winter Sleep, a 2014 Tur Turkish drama film directed by Nuri Bilgey Ceylon and winner of the Cannes Film Festival's Palme d'Or or Golden Palm. So the video recordings uh, we cover are VHS, then DVD and Blu-ray disc. DVDs would, uh, would include DVD 5, DVD 10, DVD 9, DVD R, RW, double-sided, single-sided, and single-layered, et cetera. Okay, and Blu-ray discs, BD or BDR or et cetera. So these are the uh, abbreviations we use for these formats. So um, uh, yeah, let me go back to the to this one first. So the magnetic tape video recording was created in the 1950s and became a significant contributor to the television industry. VHS was developed by JVC, which is a Japanese company in 1976. So it means we shouldn't see a VHS record with a creation date prior to 1976. The DVD was first developed in 1995 and Blu-ray disc was released in 2006. That means like, again, when we look at the dates in our catalog record, we should notice that DVDs were created in 1995 and Blu-ray in 2006. That means like if we see a date in a catalog record for a Blu-ray that it says 1985, that could be wrong. Usually DVD and Blu-ray discs present a menu to allow users uh, to choose a language, audio configuration, and other special features available in the disc. Both DVD and Blu-ray discs have a diameter of 4 3 fourth inches or 12 centimeters. We mainly focus on DVD format in this workshop today. DVDs can contain DVD-ROM, uh, content, but the DVD-ROM content can only be accessed by a computer with a DVD-ROM drive. DVD 5, 10, etc. is based on the capacity approximation in gigabytes. DVD 5 is simply called DVD, so we don't write that number 5. In addition to pre-recorded DVDs, usually in silver color, 
the pre-recorders that you you see usually they they come with silver color. Uh, recordable formats are also available. For example, DVD-R or DVD-RW. DVD-R uh, is for DVD recordable uh, and is a write one data storage disk, and usually it comes with blue color. It may not play on all devices, and we may add a 5XX note, uh, usually a 500 note or 538 note, for this purpose. DVD RW is a rewritable version of the DVD R, and the double sided DVD is a DVD 10 or probably DVD 9. Our guide says DVD 10, but I believe it's DVD 9. Blu ray disc also called BD or BDR is for Blu-ray disc recordable and blue BDRE is for Blu-ray disc rewritable. So as you know, uh, a few years ago, we uh, changed AACR2 to RDA and almost all records now um, are cataloged with RDA and RDA2 is coming by the way. Um, so, but RDA helped a lot, especially in audiovisual cataloging, um, because there were a lot of aspects AACR2 did not address for audiovisual catalogings and special formats cataloging, because they didn't exist when our AACR2 was created. So, um, so RDA uh, uh, had a few differences very like three major differences that we see especially with AB cataloging are these three no GMD no rule of three and no frequent abbreviations so there are many differences between AACR2 and RDA AB cataloging a few significant differences are uh, like in RDA there is no more general material designation or this GMD uh, in the 245 field subfield H, if you cataloged years ago, you remember that it was at the middle of 245, we had subfield H for GMD, general material designation. And now we use 300 fields, 3XX fields for this purpose. There is no more rule of three. With the AACR2 rule of three, it, it was if there were more than three authors, only the first was transcribed, followed by et al. And uh, so, but now we can use, we can have as many as we want. So it's not, we are not limited to the number of authors. And abbreviations were used frequently in AACR2 due to the limited space of card catalogs. In RDA, spelled out forms are used unless in some situations like units of measurement. Uh, this workshop, of course, is based on RDA cataloging. Uh, let me see if I can. okay good. So RDA records the RDA is based on these four elements: work, expression, manifestation, and item. Work is an intellectual or artistic creation of or content. For example, Winter Sleep, the movie that we just saw, it's called Work. Expression is an is the intellectual or artistic realization of a work. Like if there is film performance of the movie Winter Sleep. A manifestation is a physical embodiment of an expression of a work like Winter Sleep on a DVD issued by Adopt Films, the production company Adopt Films, for example. An item like a copy of the movie Winter Sleep DVD cataloged for the library's video collection. The cataloger's judgment and locally made policy decisions are essential in AV cataloging. And to identify R RDA records, we consider leader position 18 or connection uh, or, or OCLC connection code DESC as I for ISPD and add RDA to subfield E of uh, our so O4D field. Also, there are five hybrid records. Hy hybrid records are mixed catalog 
records of AACR2 and RDA rules are accepted, but we do not use I, that little I that we have for DESC and subfield E RDA in O4 field for those hybrid records. So RDA core elements for AV cataloging uh, are these items, title proper, creator of AV material, statement of responsibility, which is subfield C of 245 field, uh, addition statement or 250 field, uh, field 250, publication statement or field 264, subfields A, B, and C. Series statement that is uh, field 490 in combination with an 8, 8XX field. Identifier for the manifestation and content type or field 336 and carrier type or field 338. Um, uh, LCPCC requires more core elements. So these are just core elements for um uh for for rda and we we talk mostly about the the fields that are mostly used for a full uh, level cataloging so uh, we may talk about we, we may add a few more fields to complete our record and especially useful fields so uh, this workshop is based on the uh the, the cataloging guidelines. The cataloging guidelines, best practices for cataloging B, DVD and Blu-ray version 1.1. It was two versions, 1.0 and 1.1. Uh, it was created by uh, uh, OLAC, uh, actually by CAPC. Uh, CAPC is Cataloging Policy Com Committee of Online Audiovisual Catalogers Group or OLAC. Uh, CAPSI does an outstanding job of creating cataloging guidelines for special formats uh, cataloging. So there are more guides made by CAPSI. If you log into, uh, if you just go to the website, OLAC website, um, uh, OLAC is online cataloggers, uh, online audiovisual cataloggers group, or OLAC Inc. Actually, uh, you would you would find more guidelines for for all special formats in like like uh, for uh, streaming videos for objects for uh, genres for slot music for um, for for other other special format material and um, uh, oh. yes um, and yeah it's this 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 uh, guide specifically is 230 I think 30 pages and you would find a lot of examples at the end of the guide so I recommend you go to that website and uh, find the guide and look at the examples um, they are very useful also a lot of exceptions or a lot of uh, explanations for every issue that you may find here so let's start so what we do here is we go step by step for cataloging items. So we start by leader and fixed fields. Um, so we use uh, for this this uh, workshop, this presentation, we use um, OCLC connection elements. Uh, so you would see the codes that OCLC connection uses. Uh, not the position of like LC cataloging because they use position numbers. Um, so for video recording, we use type as G and uh, the type is for type of record and G is for projected medium. Uh, BLVL is bibliographic level. We use M for monograph and DESC as uh, is oh it should be a little i so it's typed um, big i so sorry we should change it to little i or descriptive cataloging form is little i for ISBD punctuation okay I should change it to little i uh, 
mark 08 that's for the remaining of our fixed film um so it's at the top of uh oclc connection record so you see all of them all together um so you have uh, dtst for type of date so you have codes s m p r and t s is for single date m for multiple date p date of production or release r for reprint date and t for publication date and copyright date so basically these are like the this dtst is usual is like like books and other formats that you have cataloged before the one code that is used more here for uh, audiovisuals is P for production date, because usually you see like uh, on, on your item, you see the a release date or a, uh, a release date by a, a production company or by like a um, another company uh, that they have, they, it is different than production of the movie. So you find the production of, of the movie as the second date, date two. And date one is uh, your um, release date of the movie. So like a movie was made like in 1976, for example, but it was really it, the, the item DVD that you have your cataloging, as I said, it can be before 1995. So they created that in 2006. So you have two dates, date one, 2006, and date two, 1976 for the production and then your code is p for uh date of production okay and date one and two that's with the format y y y y is for the year uh ctry or country for a place of publication in um then you get it from 264 field field 264 subfield a and that's xxx for three digit uh, a three-digit alphabetic code, you can see a list of the code through this URL link. So I think you are familiar with that. I don't need to click on it. So it's just like a, a, the a Library of Congress um, a website that you would find all of these codes. Let's, let me just show that to you. I think that's not that difficult to click and share that I just go back to uh, let me see uh, screen two screen one okay now I get what to do okay now I think you see the screen two and uh, this website it shows you the name sequences and code sequences for for this uh, for our language uh, no for this is for country uh yes when you click on name sequences if you need like say texas for example let's click on t and then you find texas as txu so your code is txu and so on you can find and if you have the code you can find it the other way you can go back and click on code sequence and t and TXU is Texas. All right, let's go back to our screen one. Okay, Iman, do you see a screen one? The, uh, I mean, yes. the first. Yes, we okay, can. Good. Okay, good, good. Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay, so this works well. <laughs> I just learned it today how to change the screens with Zoom. All right, time. Um, uh, time xxx three digits that's the running time of only the feature content so we only consider the feature content not like the special features or any extra bonus material that you have so it's only the feature content and xxx three digit running time for more than 999 minutes uh, we use 000 because we don't have more than 99 so if you have like 16 discs and I don't know, 20 hours, then it will go to zero, zero, zero. Audience, you have codes blank, F, E, and J. 
uh, blank for no audience is specified uh, for a special uh, specialized audience for uh, for example the audience for healthcare staff and like you have a, a film a documentary that's used only for healthcare staff uh, e for uh, items intended for adult uh, only and j for a juvenile audience j can be divided to a b c or d like a little kids and b different levels that's like books so it's you are familiar with this one t mat uh, or type of visual material uh, yeah v for video recording so this one is a specific for av materials or um and it's just v for video recording and tech or technique a is for animation c for animation and live action l for live action um, which is the most used and z for other ones so mostly that like uh, our feature films and films and documentaries we use l for live action and l a n g a language um xxx again is like country three character alphabetic code representing the language uh, for example eng for english fre for french mul for multiple languages sgn for sign languages und for undetermined and zxx for no linguistic content like uh, symphonies for example so let me click on this one and show you this website too. This is a very useful website. Again, usually that's the three first letters of a language, but not always. So it, it's just most of the time is the first letter, uh, first three letters. Okay, let's go back to screen two now. Good. So when you click on this link, it is an, again another Library of Congress mm, website. And you see languages like, uh, for example, Turkish. Let's go to Turkish. Oh, Ooh, there's a lot of tea here. Uh, yes, T U R. That's again with the first three letters not always the same but but this one okay so this is another useful website now um, let's go back to screen one okay good okay next slide so another so the, the, the first line that you you would usually see um, after uh, it, it depends on what kind of format you use. But anyway, 007 Mark 007 is used uh, for AV materials as well. Um, for 006, we don't use that at that much unless we have a company material, and that a company material requires 006. Uh, but 07 is used very often and it helps the system, your uh, ILS system, to understand what kind of uh, record it's dealing with. So it's very useful in connection to your ILS. Um, so the codes that we usually use, it could be different, but we usually use these codes uh, uh, for video recording. And you should consult Mark 21 format uh, for bibliogra bibliographic date uh, 07 uh, as you need it. Okay, for uh, subfield A or category of material, uh, we use V for video recording. Um, subfield B, special, uh, this, this is again based on OCLC connection. So, that's how we use. So for B, uh, specific material designation, we use D for video disc here. So if it's VHS, we use um, another code. Uh, D 
for uh, the codes are available through this link. I'm going to open it after I'm done with this. Um, D for color, uh, subfilm D for color, we use, uh, for one color, we use A. For black, or black and white, we use B. For multicolored, which are most movies right now, we use C. And for mixed, we use M, like, like, like color with black and white sequences. So we use M. And then subfield E for video recording format, we use V for DVD and S for Blu-ray disc. Uh, F sound on medium or separate. A for sound on medium and B for sound separate from medium. So I felt G medium for sound, uh, I for video disc again, and subfield so H dimensions, Z for, we use Z for other dimensions. Uh, it's not yet uh, specified. So subfield so I configuration of playback channels, and that's for the sound, M for mono or mono raw, Q for quadraphonic, multi-channel or surround sound, S for stereophonic, and K for mixed. Oh, I wanted to click on this one. Uh, this is, yeah, this is another Library of Congress uh, website for, uh, no, no, no. Okay, 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 this is not the one. Yes, back screen two. Yes, these are the codes that you need. Um, what's this specific? Okay, yeah, it's like 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 that. That software B here is zero one. Uh, the, the position for Library of Congress, you see numbers and these are positions. So that's a specific material designation that uh, we just talked about is subfield B uh, in OCLC connection. And as you see, uh, D is for video disc and then F is for video cassette. So if you have VHS, you would use F for video cassette. All right, back to slides. Um, and by the way, if we don't finish um, our slides here today, since the next one is a streaming video catalog in the next workshop, I think it's at the end of October or beginning of November. Uh, there are a lot of common uh, fields between uh, DVDs and uh, or video discs and uh, streaming videos. So we would, we would finish that there. So that doesn't mean that we are going to um, when I'm not gonna talk about them. So I will finish it over there because there are too many. We have 38 slides here. We may not get to the end, but uh, still since they are common, we are going, and I encourage you to participate in the next one, next two ones actually. Okay, let's, oh, oh Iman, did I change that to screen one? Do you see the presentation slide? Yes, we see the presentation right okay, now. Sorry. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's go to the next one then. Identifiers. So mark O20, O24, O28, and O37. So these are very uh, RDA 2.15. You can find these, the numbers that they have here, RDA number, you can go to RDA toolkit. And if you look at these numbers, you would find explanations about, um, about the topic. Um, these numbers are very important for your ILS and for your uh, discovery search because a lot of items they have barcodes ISBN or um, or uh, other numbers that like publisher or distributor number uh, simply with typing the number people can find the item and it's specifically the same item that they are looking for the same title they are looking for so these are very important numbers and you sh uh, all catalogers should remember to include these numbers um, and and uh, fortunately mark has uh, fields for all numbers that are available on a container on a disk um, so we use them, them very frequently and that's very important to add to the record so o20 field is for isbn 
than present. So for AV materials, we don't see O20 ISBN that much because ISBN is, was created for books, not for uh, films. Uh, we see more barcodes and barcodes, they have O20, we have O24 for barcodes that you see. So O24 film is used as an other standard identifier and is repeated, it is a repeatable field. So if you have more barcodes, you can add as many O24 as you want. O24 is used very frequently. O24 with first indicator one is for a 12 digit UPC or universal product code number that's the most common that you would see on it's on merchandise and on dvd container so we use o24 with first indicator one o24 with first indicator three is for a 13 digit ean or international article number um, you may see them once in a while o24 seven is for source that source is specified in subfield two, uh, like on this one that you see, it's the source comes from GTI N14. And if you see that your system like connection, because connection at the end, it checks, um, verifies if every field is okay. If uh, the, it doesn't recognize the number of digits of your uh, barcode or the number that you entered, you can use O20 field O24 field subfield eight. So subfield eight would allow OCLC connection to accept anything, any number, even like a 20 digit number if you have. So uh, that, and then you can uh, find the other subfields, the, re, the use of other subfields at, um, at a Library of Congress website. Okay, and O28 field is used for publisher or distributor number. You will see that very often on most of the uh, DVD containers because the companies, uh, the studios, they uh, they have their own stock number and they put it under the on the container. Uh, it is also a repeatable field. O28 is also used very frequently. Uh, and O37 field is used for the source of acquisition and is repeatable. So O337 is optional, is not that much important, but um, but but that's good to know the source of acquisition, especially for some libraries is important. Um, okay, then next one is Mark O33 and Mark O40. Uh, Mark 033 is for date, time, and place of an event. Uh, it, it is used in conjun conjunction with um, uh, 518, uh, the, uh, the 500, 5XX note 518, and we will talk about 518 later. So Mark field 033 uses the format YYYY-MM- not dash actually, dash is not there, just YYYYMM and DD format, which is four digits year, four digits month, and uh, two, two digits month and two digits day. Uh, and, and they are all in subfield A. Uh, and so we get the information from 518. As you see here, that, that's two, as you see, 033, 2008. 01 is for January and 21 is for the day. And we get the information from the event happened uh, for this music festival or for this music theater. And it was recorded in performance live on 21st of January of 2008. And uh, this is a good place to record it. And it's, it's um, yeah, not everyone adds, but that's a good good idea to add. Oh, Mark 040 is the distributors, the cataloging code, libraries code that, that we have, like our, our, our library is UNL for UNLV. And as we talked about, RDA is coming here to in subfield E to show you that um, this record is cataloged based on RDA. Subfield B is for language. 
and it, it means that this ca this this catalog record is cataloged in English and that's important to know that what language is the catalog record was was uh, catalog because if that that's not the language that is for your interest then you would not use it and you would create another record um and then uh, UNL is uh, every library for OC the part uh, OCLC uh, members they have codes so each member has its own unique code. Mark 041, 043, and 046. 041 is language code. Language code is exactly the same as we just talked in fixed film. Um, and I showed you the, the website. The website is the same website here, as you see. And uh, that's the same website I showed you on the other page. And the codes are the three digit codes. Uh, this 041, it, it's, um, it is used when more than one language is used in the item being cataloged. Uh, mark field 041 is used in conjunction with 546 or 500 fields and with fixed field language uh, code. The fixed field language code is the three digit code that we just talked about. Uh, 041 field is used when there are different versions of the soundtrack. Subtitles are in different languages, silent films with intertitles, and printed accompanying materials in different languages. So like 041 with first indicator zero um, is for item, not a translation or does not include translation. So we use that zero for the first indicator zero for when you don't have a translation. And when you have, you see one or you have one uh, items is or includes uh, a translation. For example, on this example, 041, with the first indicator one, I got it from that movie, A Separation. So the movie is in Persian and French. So soundtracks are in, uh, in Persian and French, so PR and French. And then there are subtitles in English and French. So you have subfield J for English, subfield J for French, and Subfield H is the uh, original rank language, which is Persian, and subfield G could be like an accompanying material, a booklet or something that is in English. Uh, so here you have, you get the information of what language is for what from 546 usually, the field 546. We only consider the feature content of the item to select the indicator code not the, the accompanying material. Uh, the accompanying material, it goes to stuff from G if we have any. Um, 043 is for geographic area code. Uh, it's like for the books, 043 field provides codes for the geographic subdivisions of Mark 6XX fields. Um, so like like that's for this movie a separation uh, the uh, our subject heading is about divorce in iran and drama and iran's code in, for 043 is a dash ir dash 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 so the 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 parts that is common with books i don't talk about them that much so i assume that you already know about them uh, then the next one is 046, special coded dates. Um, a film's production or release date can be recorded in the 046 field. The format of the date is uh, like the 033 field, YYYY, MM, and DD. Um, use EDTF or extended date time format in subfield two. So that's your, the source of information, the source of the format of the date. And so for K for this, so this, this movie, um, 
the state that we have here, the film production, it was in 2011. Originally produced as a motion picture in 2011. So it is very helpful, but also uh, like if you have like a DVD or, or a Blu-ray that it was released in 2018, then your production date is 2011 and you would have a P date with 2018 and 2011. Uh, second date is 2011 for this movie. All right. Um, next. So Mark 245, a title proper. Um, uh, source of information. So Mark title proper is very important for every uh, record, including AV materials. The source of information for our uh, video recording for AV material is title frames or title screens of DVD and Blu-ray discs. So we look first at title frames and title screens um, to to make sure that the the information is correct. Um, then then uh, we look at other resources if we don't find our enough information. Uh, the prefers the preferred source of information for DVD and Blu-ray discs is the title frame uh, or title and screens. When the source of the title is from somewhere else, uh, always add a 500 note for the source of the title. For example, like, like Nike advertisement is like a clip you're cataloging about Nike advertisement and there is no title, nothing, and you would supply these uh, titles, you add a 500 node title supplied by cataloger. Um, and selecting title proper based on the sequence. So when uh, the title is in more than one language that we would see a lot, choose the title proper based on the sequence of the titles on the title screen or title frames. So you see like the title frames says first, uh, the Turkish title like Kish Uykusu or Uykusu. Uh, so that's our first title here in our 245. And then second title is a translation in uh, Winter Sleep. So uh, that's because we see the title proper first on the screen. Usually, the foreign films are like always like this, like you see the the original title first. Parallel title proper. Um, so 245 subfield B, remainder of title, and 246 subfield uh, second indicator one um, for parallel title, usually 31. Uh, for, for parallel titles for, for the, the films in other than English. Parallel title proper is in another language. It is necessary to add a 246 field with a second indicator of one for each parallel title. So if like in our, in our movies, like all these four movies that I showed you, these are movies made in different countries. And we have subfield B and equal sign before subfield B to show the translation of the, the title that we have. We always add a 246 with indicators three and one uh, to show the second subfield B. And the subfield B usually is the English form of it. Um, 245 field is a not repeatable field but 246 field is repeatable. So you can, you may have as many 246 as you want. Other title information, uh, mark 245 field, uh, subfield B, remainder of title. Um, so these are the different other ways to, uh, to have 246, the, like the, in this example, the Beatles, uh, also known as when you have like a, a, a film 
and it is also known as something else or you want to add like a, you have a subtitle on container like the second one it says 30 minute fitness uh, or you have something at the head of title and you know that like people may search that movie that title like starting with the with what they see at the head of title or with the subtitle so these are all um good ideas to have uh, a 246 and you can have 246 with subfield first subfield the first indicator one and add subfield i as the information before your subfield a starts before your title starts and 246 doesn't have a, a period at the end so it's just like without punctuation at the end Variant title or mark 730. So we jump to 700 because that's another part of title and it's 730's authorized access point. So uh, it's 730 is important in movie catalog, in AV catalog, in, and, and you would see a lot of 730 instead of 740. In books, you may see 740 more, but in AV cataloging, you would see 730. Um, and it's authorized access point. So uh, a variant title is different than a title proper or parallel, parallel title. Variant titles are recorded in 246 field. Individual titles in a compilation are recorded in mark field 730. In this example, a comprehensive description is selected. Uh, the source of information contains both a collective title and titles representing individual content. So as you see, like you have a complete uh, collection of, of a few movies, few documentaries. So for this, this purpose in AV cataloging, we use 505 for the name of every film that we have um, so and then from that 505 we made these 730 or variant titles and we add that RDA uh, wants us to add the subfield I at the beginning sometimes you wouldn't see the subfield I this subfield I the container of work is new is it, it came with RDA before that it didn't exist so but you have like indicators that you need and then you uh, at the authorized uh, access point unless it doesn't exist and then NACO should should create that and so and then it doesn't get authorized but if um, you click uh, on your in your connection if you click on F11 um, you would see if it's authorized or not it, it turns blue and um, yeah blue URL okay 246 and 740. So in, in one case that we may have, we may see 740 is for accompanying materials. Uh, we use the uh, 246 uh, field with, or, or a special features, not just accompanying materials. We use the 246 field with the second indicator zero for the title portion. Okay, this is the first part of this slide. That's about 246 and um, if we have like a portion of the title, we want to uh, make another title proper. We want, we want the variant title for that to, to, to be searched. Uh, we use three zero. That's it's, this, th this one is not three one as you saw that before because the three one was uh, for the uh, parallel title and uh, title in another language. But this one is just, we just need a portion of the title to be traced and to be searchable. So we add the 246 with 30 and then subfield uh, B comes here. Um, 740 field may be used for titles of bonus or accompanying materials of video discs where an authorized access point may not be necessary, uh, but we want to have an access point. So 
yeah, we want to have an access point. It's not like authorized, but but it's good to have it. Usually, like like you have a booklet. The booklet is significant, especially with music media. With like like you have a synopsis, like or you have a a, a booklet. It has its own title, for example. Or you have a special features and you have like some uh, material in that special features that they have their own uh, um, title and they are not like usually are not films. It could be films too, but uh, for 740, we use the ones that are not films. If they are films and significant, uh, we would use 730, as I said. Okay. Yeah, let's have this 245 Suffolk C and then we can have like a couple of minutes break. Uh, statement of responsibility 245 Suffolk C is, uh, uh, yeah, we usually add main individuals and group associated groups associated with creating a film in 245 Suffolk C. As I said, it's a core element for RDA. For example, production companies, producers, directors, uh, screenplay writers, uh, they, are, they all go to 245 subfield C. So for the, uh, for, for the creators that they don't go to subfield C, like for narrator, narrators, editors, cinematographers, etc., we would use Mark Films 508 and 511. Um, but the main People in productions, they go on, they all go to 245 subfield C. Uh, in this example from movie Footnote, the statement of responsibility or subfield C in 245 film includes film production entities, producers, and the director. In this case, the screenplay writer uh, is the same as a director. So, uh, we need added entries of personal and corporate names for everything we see and we have in our subfield C. So in this subfield C that you see, we have um, names like director, producers. Uh, we add them here uh, in our 700 films. And at the end, this subfield E is relators. And um, we will get to that point, to that to later and then uh, our corporate bodies like sony picture classics firm and these are all authorized and um, united king films firm and you would see if you click f11 or you you would see that they become authorized and they turn blue Mark 250 or addition statement. Um, so this it is important for a movies, a films, a video recording to pay attention to this part. We use words like addition, issue, level, or update, or their equivalents in another language. Uh, when you want to have like a 250. So not always when you see like a wider screen edition, that means wider screen, that means that, that that's a 250 edition. It could go to 500 node. Um, usually the editions uh, are, are like the, these words that you see directors cut, newly restored edition, special release, newly corrected, limited edition, or like if you have equivalent, you can have it here as Edition Limitada. Um, like on the next part, you see wider screen edition. So uh, when if you're sure that this is like there are another edition that is, for example, full screen, that's why they say wider screen edition to differentiate between these two, then that's the time to use like 250 wider, wider screen edition. But if you see just, it's just like 
uh, specification of this film and that's that was made like this that's a 500 node as you see and not uh, not a not uh, a, an addition statement uh, 264 for produ production, publication, distribution, and uh, manufacture and copyright note. Notice. Uh, so this is a core element, and that's a very important field. With second 264, with second uh, indicator one is for publication statement subfield a is for the place of publication if not known use place of publication not identified as um, rda says subfield e subfield b is for the publisher's name only the first publisher's publisher name recorded is required and should be transcribed as found on the source of information if the publisher's name is in more than one language record the name in the same language as the title proper. So if the publisher's name is not known, use subfield B, publisher not identified. So they, they should be in brackets, both of them, place of publication not identified and publisher not identified. Um, and subfield C is for the pub publishing date, use brackets if not found on the source of information or if the date is an estimate. When you look at the item, uh, the publication date can be confusing since dates are associated with accompanying materials or the container's design. Uh, you may record the copyright date if you don't find the publication date. So only copyright date You, if you don't have anything else. Uh, but if you do, then avoid copyright dates. 264 filled with second indicator four and subfield C is for the copyright date, of course, like um, same as the books. Uh, the spelled out word copyright is also acceptable if the copyright symbol is unavailable. And as I mentioned, record the copyright date when no publication or distribution date is available. So this part is different than books. Uh, that We look at copyright date, date a lot, but uh, copyright date for AV material and containers are kind of confusing. And those would belong to other stuff, not our movie and not our film. Uh, 257, mark 257, country of producing entity. This is very important uh, field for us, especially for uh, the Middle Eastern catalogers because um, we need to know where the, where the film was produced. So this, this field would be very helpful. Uh, this is a useful field, specifically for non-Hollywood made movies. It shows countries corresponding to the production of the cataloged film. In this example, we see eight countries of production associated with this Tunisian film. Uh, that the film is the man who sold his skin. Um, and uh, 257, you have like all these countries, Tunisia, France, Belgium, Germany, Sweden, Turkey, Qatar, and Cyprus. Uh, that, that they were they contributed and they were the film was produced in those countries and um, the source of the term or name of countries should be given in subfield two we usually use an af uh, for this name authority file so hmm. And you have a link to the source codes of for vocabularies, rules, and schemes uh, over here from on Library of Congress at the bottom. Uh, Mark 300 physical description. Uh, another core element, 300 field is used for the physical description of the item. If there are accompanying materials like booklets, etc. we use subfield E to describe them. Uh, like here, that's 300 field subfield E is one plus one booklet, 24 pages, illustrations, and 18 centimeters. You, when you open the containers, you would see booklets 
and many of the containers they come with booklets and um, like like you or catalog in an opera and you have synopsis you or, or a lot of other booklets that you would see inside the um, containers dvd containers or um, other containers subfield a of 300 field is used for the number and type of units or subunits 300 field like subfield one subfield a here is one video disc so if you have more than one you would say like three video discs uh, 123 minutes and if it's you don't have the the exact time at the bottom of this uh, screen you see uh, one video disc approximately 50 minutes and you spell out approximately now with R -E rda um 306 is for marked 306 is for playing time so you can have that 123 minutes here transcribed as 020300 so it's the first two digits is for hours uh two it's like 123 minutes is two hours and three minutes so o2 is for two hours o3 is for three minutes and zero zero is for zero seconds uh, subfield B of 300 film is used for other physical details such as sound and color. So here we have subfield uh, B, sound, color with black and white sequences. Um, uh, and subfield uh, also for, for this purpose, we can use 340, which is for mark 340, which is for physical medium. Uh, subfield G. So subfield, as you see, subfield G for 340 here is um, color and black and white. So that's another useful new field that we use. And subfield C in 300 of 300 field is for dimensions, which is the diameter of the disc and it's four three fourth inches or 12 centimeters. RDA uses abbreviations for inch and centimeter. So inch is IN with a period and centimeter is CM without a period. Uh, so here our uh, disc is four, three, fourth inch, three, four, uh, three, fourth inch. And um, yeah, that's what we use in the United States. In other countries, they would use centimeters. And subfield D in uh, our 340 uh, field physical medium uh, also would be, would be used is used as the production method and may be associated with a 505 xx node like 340 burning uh, and then you have a 538 this disc is a burnt dvdr and may not play in some dvd players or their drive so this is a very good information for uh, users to know that not this DVD may not work on every, everything uh, on every players. So also you would uh, code the, the dimensions in 340 subfield B as 4 3 fourth inches. So and our famous 336, 337, 338 for content media carrier types. These are uh, RDA elements. And um, so for, for video recording, we have our own. Uh, so for 336, two dimensional moving images, moving image, subfield B, TDI, and subfield two RDA content. And 337 video, subfield BV, and subfield two RDA media, 338 video disc, VD and RDA carrier. Uh, if you have a video cassette or VHS, you use 338 video cassette, VF, and RDA carrier. And um, uh, in addition to subfield 2 for the source of the term, we also use subfield B here uh, for these fields. You can find mark codes for these RDA terms and that, is, that are used in subfield B. Uh, through these URL links that you see at the bottom. So uh, 
those those codes also. The, the, at the beginning, when they created uh, three, three, six, seven, and eight, they didn't have this stuff from B, but then they added that. Okay, mark three, four, four for sound characteristics. Um, as you see that that we can like we used to have before RDA, we used to have all of this information in a five three eight note, uh, five hundred thirty eight note. But now they are separated because this way they can communicate with ILS of the library much better, and um, uh, that's better recognized. So, so now for sound characteristics, we have this three hundred forty four field. Subfield A for type of recording, subfield B for recording medium, for subfield G for configuration of playback channels, and subfield H for special playback characteristics. Also add subfield 2 for the source of the term. And um, you find this in the, the information at usually on the back of the container. At the bottom, the, you see they have all the information about the sound characteristics. That will be digital, stereo, or whatever it is. And these are what you can use uh, examples of uh, 344. The sound is digital, optical, and stereo, that will be digital 5.1, or other, other characters. The next field is mark 346 subfield B for video characteristics. Uh, it is for technical specifications relating to the encoding of video images and refers to the television system in different regions of the world. There are three different format systems for television broadcasting. NTSC, which is mainly a format used in the United States, Canada, and, uh, and other countries. Um, PAL is the TV format used in most Europe, African, and Middle Eastern countries. Um, CCAM is the TV format in Eastern Europe, France, and a few other countries. So add subfield 2 RDABS to cite uh, the source of the term. Like on this one, you see it's PAL. It's very important because these DVDs, these video recordings, they wouldn't work in uh, players in another part of the world, world if the, it is uh, recorded in PAL, for example, we cannot see the movie here in the United States. Uh, and that's very important to be recorded because that's essential that like when you see this movie it is not playing, uh, you will look at the record and you see, oh, that's, that's why, because this is not uh, the system that my uh, DVDs and my video player is here. So that's one of them. And the next one is the region uh, to, that, that you would see on Mark 3347 for digital file characteristics. That's the region part of that. So, uh, so for digital file characteristic, the, the for subfield A is file type. Uh, like here, 347 video file, RDA, uh, FT. So video file is like all of the file, uh, video, the video disk that you have, you would use this 347. Then you have another one encoding format in subfield B is the standard used uh, to encode the digital item. So DVD video or Blu-ray. So these are all useful information to uh, to the user that you would add. So this 347 also is a very important uh, field for us. And then subfield E, regional encoding. This is like, like our uh, 346. This is important too, because not all regions would play in uh, the other region. So unless it's for, it is made for all regions. But if it is made for a specific region, then it wouldn't be playable. So this is a way motion picture studios control the market. There are ma mainly six regions for DVD, uh, one to six, and region zero is used for no region code. Region one 
is for the United States and Canada, region two uh, for most European and Middle Eastern countries and so on. The Blu-ray regions uh, are A, B and C, region A for North America, B for European and Middle Eastern countries and so on. So as you see, 347 sub E, region two, uh, all regions, all regions is when it's playable on every uh, video player. And region B in here for, um, for, for that one, for uh, Blu-ray. Okay, I go with 380 and finish it here. And then I, I ask you if you have any questions and then we can leave the rest of it for the next session. Mark 380 form of work is our, the, our last 3XX uh, film that we have um, uh, for video recording cataloging. So as you see, we can add, we can have motion pictures, television programs, like it is a good one too. And you should uh, add software too for a source of information. Here is LCGFT is like a subject heading that we, we bring to 380. Uh, yeah, Iman, do we want to have questions? Do we have questions here right now? I don't see any question in the chat, but please, if you have any, uh, okay, let's see. Oh, actually, we have a question. Uh, so Pupak asks, titles and other uh, font like Arabic, Greek will be translated uh, in Latin font or both. Uh, would you like to explain more, uh, Pupak? Yes, we, we romanize for our OCLC cataloging. We romanize all the Arabic, Greek and other fonts and other alphabets. We romanize them. Uh, it is actually like 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 authority records creation that there are a romanization table that we use uh, to romanize them. Let me see if I think I have like a link to romanization table that is uh, uh, that is provided by Library of Congress, and uh, that's the way that they romanize. Yeah, I have it right here. So I put it in the chat. Yes, if you click on that, you see all every language, they have a romanization table. And so to to have to create to have our 245, we need to romanize them. Also, OCLC connection right now, it provides um provides ways to connect the, the original language. Let me share this uh, separation, for example. Let me share the screen to show you uh, this record. So this record needs edits, but that's... Do you see the record, Iman? Yes, we can. And okay. that's a good, good example and explanation uh, for Pupak. I hope this would answer his question. But maybe if you can let, make, make it a little bit. OK, that's it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That here you see like this. This is like this is a new way they connect, interconnect uh, films. But what you see, the, 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 what is required is the bottom one in these 240. We have 245, 12, 245. The bottom one is what is required. The first one is not is not acceptable in OCLC connection, OCLC. But the, now they accept this for the original language that you can see. Anyway, so it like like the first one, like you see this, uh, the, the separation is a translation, but Jodai Nader as Simin is the uh, original language. And you see it is, it's been Romanized. Uh, the first part, according to that table that I just sent, the romanization table. So you need to uh, look at that romanization table and romanize the uh, the word. Like Jodai, for example, is romanized the way that you see. It. That's that's with Latin letters, and uh, it is. That's a very good question. Thank you. And it's just what we do at at NACO too. So it's for NACO for. Uh, authority files, name authority files, and other authority files, they, they should be uh, romanized, everything from any language. And I believe like most of languages, all languages are, there is a table for them. 
provided by a Library of Congress. Uh, you're welcome. Okay, so I, we have a question. Uh, thank you for the amazing presentation. I want to ask you that the 245 subfield C field and the 264 subfield B field, if they are the same. Uh, no, 245 subfield C is for a statement of responsibility. Uh, and it, so for movies, you would see production companies, uh, like producers, directors, but sometimes you, I, I, I think you're referring to 264 subfield B is the publisher or producer, not the producer, the publisher. Publisher could be a, com a, a company that releases the video and, uh, and that's the, a vendor company, a, a company that releases the video. So most of the time, it, they don't come to subfield C in 245. Sometimes they come because like the production company, for example, Disney produces a movie, also distributes the movie. So then the publisher and producer are the same or like one part of Disney would do that. So that's why sometimes you see that the, the same name repeats in 245 subfield C and 264 subfield B. But basically, essentially, these are not the same. They are completely different and they should be treated completely differently. Like 264 is specifically for publisher and the uh, entity that releases the, the DVD the film and the DVD actually, the physical DVD. But 260, 245 subfield C is specifically, is specifically for producers, for people, for, for entities that made the film, made the movie, not released it. So Cyrus, I have a question related uh, to, to that uh, specific point. So we, we have many contributors with films. Who, which contributor or which um, entity you would put in the 100 field? Who's the main responsible? Okay, yeah, uh, we didn't get to that point, unfortunately. That's my, my last points. Like for, for a movie, my, my, one of my last uh, slides, but I talk about it next time. So, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Usually movies are not made by one person. So that's why you very, very rarely you would see a 100, like 100 field. Because 100 field, that means a person should be producer, director, screenplay writer, uh, cinematographer every it would be made by only one person that's kind of not likely and usually in movies and films there are a lot of people contributing so we don't have like that 100 that often uh, for video recording cataloging but we would see 130 uh, instead of 730 and that 130 comes when we have confusion like we have like for example a movie is called mission and there are like five other movies that are mission. So we use 130 for uniform title, actually is actually a uniform title to differentiate between these like, like or in another language in another like mission that was made in 1964 is different than one probably like, for example, I'm making up uh, 1985. So we need to have like 130 over there to uh, distinguish these. And we will talk about that next time. Thank you. So we have a question. Uh, Alan asks, shouldn't the 245 subfield C in your example be exactly parallel in terms of data when you link the subfield, i.e. Sony should be in English in both the Romanized and original language 245S, subfield S. Yeah. So maybe you can go to your example and, and maybe I maybe and, the example. Uh, exactly, parallel in terms yeah. of data. And Alan, feel free, please, to unmute yourself I, or if you if you would like to uh, to discuss okay, more. Okay, let me go to that. Uh, I don't, um, uh, let's see, 245, so I'll see. If I understand Alan's question, uh, so sometimes the subfield 245, uh, C would have a mix of Latin and non-Latin uh, oh. script. So, in that case, if you make a parallel field, I think you need to repeat. You need to whatever is Latin. You will put it also as Latin in the script field. 
Uh, I okay, think so. okay, okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's exactly what I meant. Thank you for for clarifying that. Okay, thank I you. Thanks, I know, Iris. You said that you were still working on it, but but I just wanted to point out that since you've already since those fields are already linked in your example, I wanted to make sure that people didn't think that 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 was necessarily correct, and I wanted to make sure that I'm right because that's how I typically do it when I when I catalog things like this is is I make sure that that each language that's in say in your in your 245 that's acceptable in OCLC, I want to make sure that that's all exactly matched in the 245 that's in Arabic in this case. Yeah, yeah. And and usually when we have different scripts, it it, it, it can it can be, you know, uh, with different direction, it may look a little bit uh, uh, little bit strange, but that, yeah, that's what we have to do. Thank you for your question. Yeah, and in 245, so we'll see, it should be Romanized, even though we, we can use other languages, like director can be, like, for example, be in Italian, instead of director, like the word director or producer or screenplay writer. So that can be used, but it should be Romanized for our main 245. Uh, and uh, yes, I think I think that was the question, wasn't it? No, Emma? Yes, 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 thank you. So we have two questions and I would like, sure. we, we're, we can go a little bit, a few minutes more if, uh, are you okay with this, Cyrus? Me, I'm That's okay if, if everyone can stay, <laughs> of course. Okay, okay. <laughs> so we'll go, uh, uh, so uh, before we end, uh, okay, yes. So Magda has a question. Would you please explain in what cases we need to add the 130 as an, exa as an yes, example? Yes, I, I, I will explain next time when we get to the slide, but like Mission was one of one example, like you, you, you have two different versions of a movie, like for example, um, like Spider-Man, for example. Spider-Man is a good example. Like we have like 10 of them and we need to, distinguish which one are we talking about so spider-man 2006 or spider-man 2018 so then we use 130 instead of 730 here to say okay this is a spider-man motion picture made in 2006 not 2000 not 2018 for example so we get to that point and i would i would add actually more examples since you asked questions <laughs> yeah that's a very good example thank you cyrus yeah. uh, 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 so, uh, Elizabeth asked, uh, uh, before we end, can we clarify when and what is the next session would be? The website only mentioned this session. Yes, we will update our website, uh, Liz. And uh, our next session would be like uh, by the end of October, uh, beginning of uh, November, uh, we will make uh, announcement and registration link. Um, and it, it will cover uh, video streaming and Cyrus will finish up this this his presentation because many of the points are uh, uh, are the same for for both uh, for both uh, uh, formats. But if you have like any specific question um, or or uh, points that you would wish that Cyrus would cover, uh, maybe also would that would be very helpful, right, Cyrus? Sure. Yeah, definitely. You can email me. Yeah. And I think, um, Iman, I would ask for one hour and a half for the next session, a streaming video uh, cataloging. That way I would cover the rest of this and also the specifications for streaming videos. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, any other question before we conclude? Okay, uh, Noor is asking, uh, can he cover eBooks and audiobooks cataloging? Yeah, this is this is important, Noor. I agree with you. Uh, what do you think, Cyrus? Would you? Yeah, be that will be a different, different, completely different uh, website, work, website presentation and workshop. Yeah, well, the, what we have right now is for the video recording today and then streaming videos next time and objects or equipment for the third one. So if that's the, the case, that would be a fourth one. So <laughs> we can make a series of uh, workshops and yeah, e-books e e and electronic records also. Yeah, it's, it's, it will be its own one of them. And I should go faster than this to <laughs> be able to finish. Yeah, but I agree with Noor. This is very, very common. <laughs> And it's it's a kind of challenging. Yeah, I agree with. We'll work on this. No, thank you for your question and suggestion. Um, thank you all, uh, Cyrus. There are so many thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, messages. Uh, thank you for the very informative and detailed presentation. Uh, 
we learned a lot today. Uh, um, thank you for participating. Thank you very much. I hope to see you next time at yes. the next session.